channel today this is barbie chatterjee here with you guys if you are first time uh, <coughs> seeing my video then please do subscribe to my channel and like uh, give it a like and also share it with your friends so yes i have created this eye look uh, with this deep uh, lip shade right over here this is a very plum kind of deep shade so i've created this look um this is an holiday glam makeup look of course i wouldn't prefer this for a daytime but yes of course you can carry it uh, during the night time and this is a pretty simple look like you don't have you know um a lot of colors they're just a simple uh, one or two blues and some blacks and yeah this is a very simple look uh, like of course <laughs> this eye look is not simple but uh, i'm talking about the techniques the techniques are really simple you can just see the video and create this look during the night time this is a festive season going on christmas is coming and you can just do this look anytime so i fell of doing a blue kind of smoky eyes so this is what i came out with with a cat eye wing liner which makes you look sexy and sassy throughout the day <laughs> i mean throughout the night so this is uh, how i came out with and yeah um, just keep on watching and let's get a started I'm taking the kiss beauty highlight and contour palette and taking this shade right over here and carving out my eyebrows then i'll take lightest shade from the palette which is a yellow undertone shade and also again carving out my eyebrows with that and also applying the same concealer on my eyelids is my eyeshadow base and blending it out then i'll be using the maybelline fit me powder loose powder in the shade 15 light and setting my eyeshadow base then i'll be taking the savanna colors palette and choosing this brown shade right over here and just blending it on the on my crease and little bit above the crease this color will help other colors to blend very nicely it's a perfect brown color for your transition and your crease i'm blending it out with an angle brush then i'll be taking this music flower gel liner in the shade blue and applying this on my lid with a flat brush I'm applying this uh, below my crease. I'm not taking it higher above. Then I'll try. I was trying blending it with the blending brush, but I couldn't. Then I'll be taking the Makeup Revolution palette, Eyes Like Angels palette, and taking the shade Orchid, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous blue color, and patting it on my eye base, and also taking it a little bit above the uh, like eye base so that I can blend the color out. Then using a pencil brush, I'm blending my uh, like eye base so that they're not uh, there are no high, harsh edges. I'm sorry. Yeah. So as I'm doing a blue smoky eyes, so I want everything to be smoked out and I don't want any harsh edges to be there. You can see that is a lot of fallout because I'm trying to blend the shimmery shade. Then I'm taking a fluffy clean, a clean fluffy brush and blending the shade out. Then I'll be taking the Wet n Wild Single Eye Shadow in the shade Panther which is a beautiful black eye shadow and blending the blue out with the help of a black. I'm patting and taking more black from the single eyeshadow and blending everything out nicely. <coughs> then I'm taking the orchid shade again, the same blue shade which I had used on my lid and again patting it on my eyelid because I had lost the pigmentation a little bit uh, because of the blending. So I'm just doing the same. Then again blending it out so that there are no harsh edges left. Then I'll be taking the Savannah Colors palette again and again taking the brown shade and mixing it with a beige shade and blending out the black eyeshadow so there are no harsh edges and kind of mixing it to my skin color then i'm taking the l'oreal super black intensa gel liner and winging my liner out i'm drawing a cat eye winged liner because you want to look sexy on your holiday makeup look 
I decided to do a blue smoky eyes because I wanted something in icy for Christmas. Like yes, we do reds and greens, but uh, this time I don't know why. But I wanted something icy for the Christmas look. Then I'm taking my Garnier Masala water, oil infused masala water, and cleaning all the fallouts with a wipe. And then taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Orange Corrector and applying it under my eyes, around my mouth and around my nose. And then blending it out. Then I'll be taking the Maybelline Fit Me uh, uh, Foundation and the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. The Maybelline Fit Me is in the shade 238 and the Maybelline Super Stay is in the shade 310 Sun Beige and then blending everything out. <coughs> if you want to check out the review of the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation, I'll, link the, uh, I'll be linking my video down below. I've already done a review on that. That's my OG foundation. Then I'll be taking the Illegal Pro Conceal in the shade Medium Beige and um, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25. Mixing those and applying it on my under eyes, in the middle of my forehead, on the bridge of my nose, my cupid's pull and also my chin. Then I'm blending out everything with a kabuki brush. Then I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 15 Light again and dusting it all over my face and setting my under eyes with it. Then I'll be uh, putting a little bit of powder under my eyes because I'll be doing my lower lash line next so that any uh, like if there is any fallout, it falls on the powder and the powder catches it. And then I'll be extending the black line under like on my lash line. And then using the Lakme Iconic Kajal in the shade blue, I'll be tight lining my waterline. Then taking the Savannah Colors palette again, I'm taking this off brown kind of shade and blending it on my lower lash line. Then taking the Wet n Wild Single Eyeshadow in the shade Panther using a small pencil brush i am blending the black eyeshadow on the outer one third of my eye and then taking this blue shade deep blue shade and putting it on the inner one third of my eye like inner one third of my lower lash line this is act this was actually a little bit deeper shade than what i had applied on my eyelid this was the second shade from the palette so dusting off my bake and then using the maybelline lash sensational mascara and curling my lashes and then I'll be put my I'll be putting my lashes and then I'll be right back. Then I'll be using the Milani bronzer in XL Milani bronzer XL in bronze glow 01 and then I'll be contouring my face with the sugar contour kit. I forgot to show the palette in the video but I used that palette and I'll be contouring my nose also with the same palette with an angled brush. Then I'll be baking. I'm reverse contouring actually because I wanted my contour to be sharp. <coughs> so I'm um, now I'll be highlighting. So sorry, now I'll be applying my blush from the Savannah Colors palette with this peachy pinky shade and blending it out. Then I'll be dusting off my bake. You can see how sharp my contour looks right now. My nose contour looks beautiful. Next, using the same palette, I'll be taking this silver shade right over here and highlighting the highest points of my face, my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my chin and the inner corners of my eyes and also my brow bone and also the cupid's pearl. Then I was not sure about which lip color to use. Um, but then I decided to go with this deep burgundy shade. This was the SFR colored lipstick in the shade 07. This is a really affordable lipstick you guys and it, it is a beautiful color. It's a very deep burgundy kind of color. So I'm applying that on my lips.
if you want a review on these lipsticks then do let me know i have four shades of these lipsticks like this comes in a set so i'll be soon doing a review on these Like the video, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Bye bye, take care.